Oh, yes, yeah, we'll do lunch sometime. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You look fabulous, by the way. This, this, oh, it's just something I picked up when I was in India. Um, it is, it is a genuine ruby. Yes, it is. So, yeah, I got a call from my agent, and I have this huge audition tomorrow, and he says I'm totally going to nail it. When you think of someone being inauthentic, uh, you probably think of someone who's being phony or um, bragging or showing off, trying to appear to others uh, differently than how they really are. When I talk about mindfulness and I talk about authenticity, it's a different thing. It has very little to do with outside and mostly to do with inside and being aligned with your mind, body, and spirit. <laughs>
sharing ideas, taking big concepts and making them small in order to teach or tell or entertain. But my purpose for doing that, which I didn't know at the time, was to satisfy my ego, which we've spoken about in other videos. I'll link the, uh, I'll link the most important one below, uh, which has to do with the um, biggest personal development tip that changed my life, and it has to do with not listening to your ego. But So I was using my passion to feed my ego, not to feed my spirit. I was using my passion to feed my ego, not to feed my spirit. A lot of people think that once you find your passion, that's it, all good. And you live happily ever after. Mm, wasn't working out. And that's when I realized the purpose I was using for my passion was not actually truly authentically in alignment with who I am, my spirit, my soul. Now, the good thing is my passion was still my passion. I just had to find my purpose. And through a bunch of things and life lessons, which uh, the more we get to know each other, the more you'll get to know about what got me here. Um, but I learned, oh, my passion is still communicating and teaching and entertaining. But my purpose is to share the lessons that I've learned, some of them the hard way, with other people in order to maybe spare them a little of the pain that I've gone through or maybe give them a head start in learning things that took me a little longer to learn. So again, the alignment equation for authenticity, your passion and your purpose should bring you peace. Peace and happiness, two different things. I'm talking, uh, you know, an overall feeling of peace. And you'll know you're on the right track when you find your mind thinking things and your body doing things that are in line with your spirit. I hope that wasn't too woo-woo. You, you got to get a little woo-woo every once in a while. Uh, if you have any questions, which you probably do, I'm well aware, feel free to ask me below. Also, uh, if you like the video, despite maybe a little confusion, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Mwah. Subscribe to the blog of MaximizeLife.com. On Instagram, a.maximize.life. On Twitter, a maximize life, And on YouTube, a maximize life. Two X's. Talk to you soon.